Hey everybody, the UU's here with part two of Raw Review for September 7th, 2015. Let's go. So my mixtape drop. Nah, let's go. So, uh, but Johnny Cage pause victory continued. So, next we get Randy Orton versus Sheamus, and the crowd goes wild. God, they need to stop putting these two guys together. This match was so bad. Like. Like, at least, like, the other matches were pretty bad. Like, not great, but they had their moments. This didn't really have a moment. It was just kind of there. Oh, oh. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, oh. I'll, I'll, I'll just do it. <laughs> just fucking do it. So, oh, God. I'm going to give you the old key and the cow. Why would you put Randy Orton in shape? Oh, oh, my God. Why would you put this match? Come on, now. Seamus is being turned into the most gigantic pussy next to Rusev, but at least Rusev, we know where it's heading. This guy's just, what the fuck? Like, I understand they shit on the money of the bank guy, but Jesus, they kind of like protecting Seamus and stuff and protecting the bro kick. This is ridiculous. They're burying the fuck out of this guy when the... I'm not stupid. Like, you're making him a little kid. Like, little kids are probably loving this because this is like little kid humor, aka what Vince McMahon loves. Hashtag. That's what Vince McMahon loves. He loves fucking little kid humor. That's fucking stupid. Like, I thought uh, when Seamus came back, I was like, oh my god, they're finally gonna do something with this guy. He has a good gimmick, a sick ass team, good luck. Like, I like the luck, personally. But, like, I don't know what they're thinking. Like, I don't think, I don't want to see Seamus with the world title, but he shouldn't be getting shed on like this. Boring ass match. Randy Orton wins with the RKO out of nowhere. Cause you know, apparently any RKO now he does is out of nowhere. Even though like some people do see it coming, but whatever. Uh, after this, Seamus is nowhere to be found. Randy Orton is like celebrating. The celebration took way too fucking long, uh, but I understand why now. Oh, swag. Super kick! Super kick! Oh, you can't block that door. So, yeah. Oh, oh, let me get it! Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah! One of the best brutalities in the game. Oh, no, I didn't. So, yeah, Randy gets killed by the Wyatt. Manhandled by the Braun Strowman. Amazing super kick by Lou Hopper. Did you see Lou Hopper's ring gear? Oh, that was a sexy jacket thingy. That flannel jacket, oh, it's, still, it's, it's better than the hoodie, but the hoodie still does shit, but damn. Then we get the Dudley Boyd versus Lost of the Man, the Lost of the Man, what, what the, who, who cares about these people? Lost of the Man and Ninja Turtles. So, uh, apparently they were saying this thing where the bull cost them, because uh, I think it's Fernando or something, with like, I don't even know, let's just say Epico and Primo. So, Epico and Primo were arguing with the bull. Bull comes in, tries to get in, and they're like, no, get the fuck out of there. And uh, one of them slaps the uh, Epico, I think, slaps the fuck out of this fucking bull. Like, damn. Like, what does the five fingers say to the fight? Slap, nigga. Uh, so, that happens. Wake up, bitch. Ray, welcome to online. So, finally. They seem to be doing something with this fucking team. Oh yeah, by the way, 3D wins with a 3D! Of course. So, they finally seem to be, like, doing something with this team. Like, oh my god, I got, like, this team, I don't know, I think there's hope for them. Like, they're talented. Like, I think, uh, Primo especially, he's really talented. I like Primo, especially when he was Carlito. Ooh, but like... This team is just dead in the water. I think there's like nothing really more you can do with these guys. I don't know why that happens sometimes. The sound just goes off the random fatalities. So yeah, Primo snaps, attacks the bull, beats the crap out of him. So I heard like the room where they're getting repackaged, but I'm like, what the fuck can you do with these guys? You've done, you've tried their regular personalities, just two generic Puerto Rican guys. That didn't work out. You tried this thing, that didn't work out. Like, the best thing to do is, like, bring back Carlito or something. Like, that would work out. Like, I don't know. I don't think Carlito would come back because there's no way he would want to be, like, handcuffed. I mean, handcuffed like that again. But that seems to be the only option with these guys. Like, bring back Carlito. Everyone loves Carlito. 
I don't know, so. Good, let's see. Hopefully, maybe WWE can pull a winner out of their thing. With this whole repackage idea. Oh, hit him in the nuts. So, we got to see a bubble bomb. They get put to the table because Bully Ray and um, Devon testify my brother. Come back in to save the bull. I don't know why, but I, I wouldn't let the fucking bull go down. It's funny though, that bull's a better wrestler than half the roster sometimes. <laughs> I heard that bull was like amazing. I've seen some stuff like of like before the bull became bull. <laughs> and that's easy to say. And uh, he looks pretty crazy in the ring. Got the full combo. So yeah, next we get Cesaro versus The Miz. I like The Miz's ring gear. I think it's pretty cool. How he had like the little demon face, the awesome demon face. And he put the fucking, um, what's the Shiny? There we go. And he put the sunglasses on it. I think that's pretty douchey. Ooh, I got it! Here's Johnny. The only reason I like this neutrality is just a knockout punch. So Cesaro is the Miz. Cesaro takes control. The Miz is being a pussy. Cesaro puts on the uh, Cesaro puts on the cowboy hat, the JBL cowboy hat. That was pretty cool. Then Big Show comes out, and I go, Big Show, why? So Big Show comes out, tries to like rape the Miz. And then he goes, oh, fuck, I'm not cool anymore. And then he punches Cesaro. He's like, oh, fuck you, young guy. I really hope it's not another triple threat rivalry with The Miz and Big Show. Like, what the hell is this? Like, what the hell are they doing with Cesaro? My tears, though. I was so sad not to see any Kevin Owens, though. Now that I uh, randomly, like, noticed there was no Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens needs to be there all the time. Uh, Divas Revolution, because you know they tell you every five seconds is the Divas Revolution. Is um out for a promo again. Uh, love Nikki. I love Nikki again with the whole trying to show emotion thing that didn't work out. Nikki brought up re reload, so automatically I want her to lose her title so bad now. No one brings up Brie mode and gets away with it, so... Whatever, the Bellatron. Turn on the hunk of me, Ty! So, the Bellatron is up there. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, I had a sexy combo in mine. Here's Goldberg. Oh. So, yeah, whatever. Team Peanut Butter and Jelly comes out. And then, uh, Cat Fight! Bracks out and then Joy Styles is there. No, Joy Styles is not really there. I wish he was. He could fix the commentary. God, go watch that man commentate action figures playing. That man's fucking amazing. Love Joy Styles. Yo, the part of doing the Randy Orton pose. Hey, nothing you can say. So then we get the main event, which let me get started on this main event. We get Seth Rollins in the new fucking day. Versus John Cena and the primetime players. Black Cena and John Cena teaming up. They're finally put their differences aside. <laughs> New Day Rocks. So Biggie, you know, tries that meet. Biggie gets a fucking headlock on John Cena. I know what you're thinking. Randy Orton. No, he's not getting this back. So he gets the headlock. And we get one of the greatest things, too. We get Biggie, like. Planting his foot down while doing the, le the headlock and just doing the do. Day rocks. New day rocks. So that was pretty fabulous. I forgot I have a fucking flip kick. I saw myself. So that was amazing. <laughs> fucking Xavier Woods is the greatest thing ever right now. With the, you gonna learn today, Jason. He gonna learn how to give up. And I'm like, yeah, this fucking guy. This guy, the trombone playing, eyebrow raising. New day loving son of a gun, the tricep meat loving <laughs> Xavier Woods. This guy, this guy, man. So, ever since Consequence Creed, I thought this guy was very entertaining. And now he's like succeeded his fucking potential doing it. Ooh. So then we get a ooh kill him dance. And then the fucking Biggie grabs John Cena out of the air. And we just hear Xavier Woods, he's so strong. You know why he can do that? Cause he's so strong! And I'm like, oh my god, they're they gonna get married, they're gonna have children. Children. So, the Tron Bone, when they're doing their like New Day stomp, which they get Zephyrons to do too. Oh god. The match is actually pretty entertaining. Like, this, this rock fucking sucked. But this match was awesome. Just on entertainment factor. Sick Darren Young spot when Darren Young, um, 
tripped, I think it was Xavier Woods or like uh, Kofi, and he got him into the gut check. That's the um, double knees into the gut. That was awesome. Cena, Cena and the PTP win. Hey, so man. that was cool. Then we get you fucking Sting. So Sting destroys the statue. Man, Sting. Why you got a litter like that, man? You gonna join Team 3D? Just destroying, like, destroying stuff, huh? Fucking save a chair, break a table. So, again, not a good raw. Oh my god, my, my own nuts. Not a good raw at all. Very actually bad one, but whatever. They can't all be winners. The New Day is my saving grace like every Monday. They're fucking amazing. Seth Rollins promos, like, yeah, whatever. So, yeah, it was a pretty okay addition to Raw. Super kick! <laughs> Always super kick. So, gonna keep working on the Johnny Cage. NXT review coming soon. Catch you guys later. Peace out.